She said, it's Devon from the C-H-H-T. I said, C-H-H-T? Can you repeat that, love? The C-H, what is it? She said, C-L-D-T. I'm calling about the universal assessment my colleague Peter told you about. I said, I'm sorry, love. I know you've a list to work to. I have a grandson selling insurance from a call centre in Basingstoke, but I don't give my details to strangers and I certainly don't buy over the telephone and hung up. Blooming cheek. C-L-D-T. Universal Assessment. Devon. What sort of a name is Devon? That's not a name, that's a county. See, I've got Kevin. He's such a patient person. Will sit there and listen to you for hours on end. Never judges, never criticises. I said to him, I said, Kev, you're a saint, you are. Without you to talk to, I think I should go mad. But he doesn't say anything. See, since Harry died, it's just been the two of us and... Well... See their back shopping bags. Oh. Oh. See, none of this would have happened if Harry hadn't died. All this. Social services. He was so excited when he found out I was expecting. Rushed out to get a pram from an ad in the paper. Lovely pram. Big wheels. Sprung. Not like these three wheel fangled things they have nowadays. Took it out into the backyard, polished it up with Duraglit. Newspaper all through the house to stop the mud. The night Kevin was born, the midwife asked if we had any newspapers to wrap him up in. Harry said, yes, yeah, she's got plenty, I'll go down and fetch some. I didn't want him wrapped in newspaper. All dirty. I said, there's a blanket on the chair Mother made. That'll do. Wrap him in that. It's not fit for his lovely baby pink skin. She said he's not fit for anything. <laughs> Kevin's got this little way of showing me when he wants something. He, he'll tug at me. Tug, tug, tug. I said, Kev, stop it. He'll have me over one of these days. I said, Kev, do you remember that time when we used to go to Nan's and feed the chickens? He loved those chickens. He was such an angelic child. Bright little face. Always smiling. He used to shriek with laughter when he saw those chickens. And shout, shouting at the top of his voice he was. He'd talk about those chickens all the way home. Couldn't shut him up.
Thursday I met Devon. She said, Mrs. Williams, we're here to help. How are you coping? Well, it was a winter's day. She dumped tea and coats on, treading snow into my carpet. I thought you could help by wiping your feet properly, but I didn't say anything. Didn't take her coats off. Kept rubbing her hands. No wedding ring. I don't have time for love, Mrs. Williams, she said. I thought, no, you don't have time for anything, judging by your timekeeping, but I didn't say anything. Didn't sit on the settee properly. I said, there's a cushion there, make yourself comfy. She just smiled and said, I'm fine, Mrs. Williams. Well, she wasn't fine, I could see that. I said, I'd make you a cup of tea, but since the boiler's gone, I can't get the stove to work. Do you want a biscuit? Well, I knew that was a mistake. I could see by her face. When did this happen, Mrs. Williams? She said, I said, oh, the other day, I've got the man coming tomorrow. Well, I haven't got the man coming tomorrow, it was months ago, but I've not got round to phoning the board, but I didn't tell her that. It's not that cold. I wrap up, put another layer on, and Kevin doesn't mind. At least he never says anything. She said, we need to gather as much information as possible. So you might need to unlock the memory bank. All the time she's looking at Kevin, eyeing him up and down, trying to catch his attention, but he has none of it. Doesn't look at anyone. Anymore. But she carried on trying. And what about you, Kevin? How are you? didn't say anything. She said, part of the process is to carry out a universal assessment. I said, what? It's just a general information form, isn't it? Why not call it that? And she said, what about you, Mrs. Williams? How do you see your role? I said, well, I don't have a role. It's not a part I play, I'm his mother. That'll never change. She said, do you feel you get a lot of help, some help or no help? We need it for our indicative budget, she said. It's all words nowadays, jargon. The top heavy on the admin, that's their problem. She put her pen down and sat back in the chair and she said, tell me about Kevin, Mrs. Williams. And she seemed interested. So I started to talk.